Spring cleaning is here and I'll show you how to clean very nasty, disgusting, horrible blinds. I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory here. I love doing this. This is the same sentence that I always use, but I don't have another sentence. Whenever we move into this house, yes, the blinds were disgusting, they were nasty, and I thought that I wasn't going to be able to do anything but replace them. And I have many windows on this house, and at that moment I didn't want to spend that much money because we just moved in, we made a down payment, you know, life. So I just decided to take them down and clean them to make them look a little bit better. Later I know that I found this method that you're gonna make them look like almost brand new and I am so excited to show you this method this is a perfect time everybody is in spring cleaning everybody is going at it so it is a perfect time to share with you all my tips and tricks so you can clean your windows and your blinds and they're gonna be like sparkling it's gonna be awesome I wanted to do a shout out to one of my subscribers she sent me this color strip I have never tried this this is a dry nail polish and I am super excited I put them on and we're gonna put them to test this is gonna be like a really hard test for them I, I'm hoping that they survive but yeah I am so excited they look beautiful right now let's see how they look after as always, I'm gonna be giving you all my tips and tricks and also I'm gonna be providing you with all the products that I use on the description down below. Let's go, let's clean these blinds and the windows and make them look beautiful. I'll show you before and afters and everything that I did. Let's do it. It's kinda dark and I apologize, but if I open the window, then it's too bright and you don't see. And then if I close, <laughs> I have problems. <laughs> New YouTuber, I don't know how to deal with this stuff. I'm just learning, <laughs> just stick around. I'm gonna get better, I promise. Sit down. That's the first thing that we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna take the number carefully with this plastic. I already broke one. But these are like super old. You can get them on the book. I am not joking when I tell you that they're nasty, 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 nasty. Oh, look at those nails. Right. The second thing that you want to do is open this door here. And for that, I always use like a flat head screwdriver. After you do that, and open them, what you wanna do is just wanna like close that. Am I stupid? Am I dumb? Maybe. You wanna close them before you open them because then they're gonna fall off. You learn, you see? Tips and tricks here. Let's go. Put them back and try to do this from the beginning, but I'm not gonna cut anything because you guys need to know what happened. You know, we keep it real here, right? So I'm a little bit dumb, and I don't think sometimes I have a lot of things on my mind. Yeah, so open this and then we remove them. They're heavy. Let's just go ahead and remove this and we're gonna take them down. It's a strong woman that I am, because they're very dirty, we're gonna just go ahead and put them on the bathtub so they can have a bath and relax. Bernie, I love setting up cameras and then find out that I'm out of frame. So I'm doing another squat. Let's do this quickly. So we're gonna put it on the bathtub. I'm gonna spray some Kaboom. Kaboom? Is it? I'm gonna like go ahead and Kaboom, Kaboom. I don't know how you say it. I say Kaboom. Kaboom. Anyway, we're gonna spray some of this. You can use scrubbing bubble too, it works well. But I'm gonna use this one today. And then you want to have a magic eraser. You wanna have some Windex on hand, a paper towel, or you can use rags, whichever works for you. Like I use paper towels because I don't have any more rags, but if you have rags, it's kinda a little bit better because it's less waste. We're gonna just like soak them, put the kaboon on there, let it chill, and then after that we're gonna like 
clean them. Also, I always have like kind of like a towel so I can put them whenever I get them out and I'm gonna scrub them. I'll show you that in the next clip. Oh yes, that's a nice shot. You can see how dirty they are. Look at the white beautiful bathtub that I already renewed. I will link those videos on the iCard. Look at that beautiful bathtub and then look at that disgusting nasty and that have never been clean. We're just gonna spray this thing. I saw. what we're working with this is a magic eraser <laughs> it's already looking beautiful and what you want to do is you just want to like, take each of these lines one by one and you just want to like swipe 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 because we already like leave it like soaking and chilling it's coming off like super super easily I am like really not putting like any pressure whatsoever. So that's nice. Over here, I'm just putting a little bit more carbon on that top part because that top part was being a little bit more stubborn than the blinds. So I just put a little bit more product and let it chill there until the end. We have found that the best way to clean the blinds is to move in sections. What I will do is I will clean it depends three four five blinds at a time and i will like clean them with the major eraser i will dry them and then i will flip them clean them on the other side dry them and then move to the next section i have found that this method is the best because whenever you try to do like a bunch of them at the same time you might skip um some parts one and then second sometimes if your blinds are as dirty as mine were that there would transfer to the other side and would dry there and you will find yourself continuously trying to clean them like this is a little bit more effective and you will be able to clean them both and dry them both at the same time and just move on with the next section <laughs> the window is looking right now and what I like to do is just go ahead and remove this and after I remove them I'm gonna go ahead and like scrub them in the sink and then I'm gonna clean all of this white part like really quickly after I clean this scrub this make it look better I will clean the glasses and then we will go ahead and install our freshly clean almost brand new blinds so let's just do this So we're gonna go ahead and clean this. The first thing that I'm gonna like do is I'm just gonna like put some Windex. I like to scrub the whole frame, so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Then after that, we're gonna like clean the, the glass. So I wanted to show you like kind of like close up. This is soft crop. This thing is magic with a doughy sponge. I have put these nails through hell. 
how they were looking right if not just like rewind and you will <laughs> see but yeah look at that super clean let's move to the other one and we're gonna like lift up to dry and after it's completely dry we're gonna like install it back and those windows i'm super 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 happy with the results i kind of knew how they were going to be turned out because i have done this before several times i'm so happy this was the last one all of my windows and blinds are clean and looking white there is something so satisfying about like cleaning at least for me it's like whenever you know that something is steady and you like see it like oh my god and you see like all that dirt it's so cleansing it's so like relaxing uh, I hope that you guys found this motivational and it's helpful for you guys and you can like tackle one of these projects on your house and you can like clean your windows and blinds and get ideas from here probably you don't have that much dirt on your on your window but at least you can get the gist of it and you can like get ideas of how to clean the blinds quickly clean the windows I hope that you guys found this video useful and also entertaining. Subscribe to my channel, share this video, help a girl out, hit the like button. I'll see you on the next video. Oh, I forgot, no, the nails, the nails. I cannot say bye. Well, the nails, here are the nails. This is after, you guys be the judge. Do I need to say something? I put them through hell and back. And this is how they're looking normally. I will be missing nine of the nails. So yeah, thank you so much, Diana. They're awesome. I can't wait to order more and I really like them. I'm very impressed. Thank you so much. Ah, ahora sí. See you later. Los quiero. Bye.